MTN's John Shear went to West Yellowstone and found local businesses are stepping up to make sure visitors are still able to enjoy the park during the shutdown. Thanks to the government shutdown, the Old Faithful Visitor Center right over here is closed. There's no one on the payroll to run it. But you find a snow coach right over here and a line of snowmobiles right over here. There are plenty of people visiting the park and it's all because tour operators and volunteers are pitching in. We, we're getting along just fine. Dozens of snowmobile and snow coach tour groups traveled through the park this week. And when it erupts, it'll shoot water 75 feet into the air. Popular stops and heated restrooms are open and the roads are groomed for snowmobiles and snow coaches. Each of our guides, whether they're on snowmobiles or on snow coaches, basically like a ranger. It's pretty common for us to have fires here each and every summer. They step up to the plate. The operators are providing toilet paper, cleaning supplies for the guides to bring in when they're here. About the only giveaway that the park is not operating normally for the winter season is the lack of staff at the entry gates and visitor centers. It's costing the businesses thousands of dollars a week to keep the services going, but it's important for them and for their employees. I would have totally been out of a job. I think this is my fourth government shutdown that I've been working, um, living here, and this is the first one that I've been able to continue to work during the shutdown. We realize that it's a privilege for us to be able to take people into the park. We realize that the people appreciate that opportunity. Now, at least a few government employees are heading back to work to keep the park clean and safe. At Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park, I'm John Shearer for MTN News. Some park employees began returning to work on Saturday. Others returned Sunday to provide health and safety services. Even though entrance stations are being staffed, park entry fees are not being collected during the shutdown.